frame out of the frame <laughs> there we go hello everyone how are you doing how uh, are you i'm good how are you Barbara? i made a terrible mistake oh, so that? you know how every playful verse i usually just don't eat lunch and Barbara, i ate lunch today we talked about this i i was responsible and <coughs> oh you did eat lunch it, That's good. i did but it's not paying off why not because now i want to go take a nap <laughs> okay <laughs> So we are going to be sleepy today. We're going to be uh, sleepy. This is going to be the sleepiest playful verse ever. The sleepiest. But really, we want to check out some builds. And I think I need some inspiration, some build inspiration. Because I'm creating my own uh, public world. And I just want to like establish some kind of theme, you know? Yeah. Uh, so apparently there's there's some pretty cool builds we're looking at today. There's like a mini <coughs> Japan. So we get to travel to Japan minus the expensive flight ticket. 
So it's all going to be good. But if you guys have any ideas on, um, <laughs> what was that? Uh, Mars. Hi, Mars. Uh, yeah, I do watch too many of your food streams. Uh, Mars is one of our creative uh, streamers, but he's actually a food streamer, essentially. Because anytime oh, that we get on, streamers. it's uh, talk about egg rolls and meatloaf. And uh, we're going to actually be streaming with Mars in uh, two weeks or so. Looking um, forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's gonna be great. Uh, so it's going to be great. The other thing we told people is that, uh, in, in fact, I just now fixed the message of the day on the main menu of Creators because it was broken because I'm trying to do a thousand things at once. <laughs> but um, if you have suggestions for places you'd like us to visit after we go to this awesome Japan inspired place, yeah, um, I will be watching chat and I'll nudge Barbara and say, hey, this looks pretty cool. Somebody <laughs> told us to go here. I'm glad you took off those extra arms that you were doing to do a million things because that would have really scared people. Yeah. I don't think I, the world is ready for... I generally don't go out in public <laughs> in that mode. What is it? Octi David? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't... Pa it's trademarked. I can't type. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. Whoops. Um, I've got my computer. You're all ready to go? Um, yeah, I'm ready if you are. Sweet. Let's play some creative verse. Boop. And you can see David's lovely message of the day there. I know, it's broken. Sweet. I had a count. If, did any of you see my message of the day? There's like a nice little countdown timer that I had. Um, I think I didn't have it set up right, but. That's pretty working. sweet. So we um, can get some people in. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to change my outfit real fast. I'm going to make it some kind of sleepy, sleepy build. I'm going to build my kindness sword. I'll keep everything else. I'm going to tell the uh, Playful Studio that we are live streaming. We are live. See if we can get some of those guys in here. Yeah, I hear uh, Randy might be lurking. Um, so, Randy, if you're lurking, hello. Um, Hi, Randy. And come on down. Let's see. Oh, we have some already. Somebody was talking. Uh, Strangecraft is talking about homemade pretzel pizza. That sounds fantastic. I love a good crust on a pizza. All right, so the first world we're gonna visit is, oh my gosh, I forgot his name. <laughs> this always happens to me. I think what it's What was that? I was typing, sorry. Um, oh, nothing, I'm just forgetting. I just slacked it out to the entire studio, so anybody who <laughs> jumps in here and uh, wants to come join us, just come swing by for five minutes. We'll Tested say hello, it'll be fun. Subject. But we know you guys are also super busy, so no worries if you can. I am checking to make sure this is the right world. Test subjects treehouse. Oh, Barbara, I'm so sorry about the beam of light that is like right across your face. Oh, it's just part of my powers. <laughs> Actually, if you hold it at a certain angle, it's like you got that cool like white streak in your it's hair. Like, it's also the like the one of the Instagram filters, but it's just like IRL. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is just an in real life filter. Yeah. I love it. I love it that it takes the same amount of effort to say IRL as in real life. <laughs> it's the same amount of syllables. Yep. Uh, that's great. Da -da -da -da. And of course, the creativist community is talking about food as they always do. But guys, I'm stuffed. I don't even want to talk about food. Let's see. Yeah, omelets, pretzel pizza. Great stuff, guys. I like your taste in food. Oh, yes. So this is the wow. Mayan zone. Check this out. Wow. I might die because there's some corruption. There's a lot going here. on here. School, 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 schools. Look at this. The anti gravity thing going on. My goodness. Well, it's kind of spooky. It is. It's but also kind of like it's tropical in a spooky? way. Spooky. <laughs> it's like tropical spooky. Yeah. Tropical um, spooky it makes me want to like hang out with ghosts and you know make a smoothie bowl. That's what it. That's what it's. Kind now, of. Barbara, be, you brought it up. <laughs> smoothie I, bowls. Yes. I get smoothies. I like smoothies. But the smoothie bowl concept you explained to me How the other day, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around, what is a smoothie bowl? What, I mean, this is a very existentialist question. I, I, I want to say I'm not an expert. You know, I'm still learning. But, oh my gosh, this goes down deeper. That's really creepy, guys. Okay. Um, it's, just, it's just thicker. It's like, 
I use frozen bananas in mine, and I can I can show you guys if you want. We can do another stream where it's Barbara and David make smoothies. <laughs> you, you like the uh, Dairy Queen Blizzard effect where they take, before they hand you no, their that's cup, unnatural. they turn it upside <laughs> down just to show off, and then they give it to you. Not... No, that, that, see, that to me is scary because I'm like, what, what makes it hold like that? Like, I'm right. pretty sure there's crazy glue so, in there. So your smoothie bowl, if you turn it upside down, good things would not happen. Yeah, no, I mean, it'll, it'll come down, but it'll come down in this, like, really slow, beautiful manner full of, like, different colors. And you can get, like, butterfly pea powder in there and make it pink or blue. So it's pretty awesome. I would recommend that. Um, but the best thing about a smoothie bowl, and if it makes you feel, it makes you feel good, and it's also really filling because it's thicker. Cool. Um, really big fan of them. So is is this the world that has like the Jap this, the Japanese this inspired? This is. Uh, oh, I'm going to fall to my death here. Oh, oh no! That was close. <laughs> this really is a so it's it's like a Mayan temple. There's nowhere safe. I don't have any. Look at this. this. This looks like one of the movie scenes where you just don't come out alive, you know? It looks there's like they like, forgot to pay their lighting bill. Yeah, also that. <laughs> <laughs> there's like three or four um, people deciding the fate of the universe. Um, they're trying to fight against a, a team of superheroes that has magical powers. Does that sound like I'm plagiarizing or... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was reading oh chats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, crazy Wolf... Uh, KZ Gaming <laughs> says they've been telling their friends about Super Lucky's Tale. Wow. They might tell them about Creatorverse, but they've never played it yet. Okay. Um, well, you should play it. Because um, it's free. It, yeah, it's free. And uh, even if you don't play it now, you can watch us play it and see what you think. Although we're mostly going to be checking out builds rather than going through the uh, core gameplay. Loop. Yeah, but I, I was thinking that could, that could be a fun exploration too, just like make me suffer. <laughs> make me do a fresh start world and have to collect everything um probably yeah. probably would need more than like two One hours uh to do that i don't know how long it would take me so this is a uh, king arthur's uh, medieval zone it's the same person tested subject um and it's this really really grand medieval build as you can see look at this I love it. this is I, great i love it a lot I always just have such a penchant for medieval builds. And also I like that they've added holiday lights. It really is distracting. You know, you're just being your own person, living in a medieval town, you get the plague, but then you have holiday lights, so yeah. it's okay, yeah. you know? It occurs Wash to me that uh, our high-tech sound system could probably use just a little padding. <laughs> in the form of a playful in blanket. In the form of a playful blanket. So that very, people don't hear like every mouse click. Very cozy. Oh, we want to protect you know, your mouse. You know, it's clicks. this keyboard. My my mouse is just like it's really has a nice centered gravity. You see that, guys? It's really high high definition there. But my keyboard is clanky clank. I call it clank. It is a clanker. It is. It feels nice though, but I can I can see how that would be annoying. So check out the scope of this. I wonder how long it took to build this. Where did the inspiration come from? Did we watch too many 90s and 80s Robin Hood movies? Hmm, I don't know. Now what's your favorite 80s Robin Hood movie? I actually can't remember if it's an 80s or 90s film. It's not a Robin Hood film, but um, I do remember Men in Tights was funny. Uh, but I liked <laughs> this I really, that. This is really, I guess, even indie for the day. The Prince and the Pauper came oh, yeah. out in the eighties. Yeah. Um, I wanted it's like it's Robin Hood adjacent. It's kind of yeah. It's in the same uh, universe, one could say. Um, it's it's got lots of awesome and they were, stuff, just like yes, this world. They were like twins. Everybody has fake trees in the background. Um, uh, so I think, if I remember, it's just two twins, <laughs> and oh my god, I'm stuck. Uh, one is a prince, one is a pauper, obviously. Um, I thought the pauper had more personality than the prince. Um, I like that the pauper trades places, and I remember there's a scene where they bring out this big roast turkey, because that's always in the plot of some medieval build um, movie. And um, So if you're just joining us, this is Playful Reviews Old Disney Movies, the live stream. <laughs> is it a Disney movie? Mm -hmm. World's greatest. Maybe it's Hello. Don Bluth or something. Um, Thank you, Jojo, for calling out our website uh, on Twitch chat. Uh, I also said a word, a phrase that 
brought a, a lot of questions into chat. Uh oh. There the is playful. such thing as a playful blanket. Um, it is unfortunately not for sale. It's something our studio gave us as Christmas presents. Um, to keep us warm. To keep us warm, because sometimes it gets cold in here. Um, but, oh, gosh, people keep asking us about merch, and uh, one of these days we're going to have our merch game on point, but we're so busy making games right now. We'll get there. Well, Stay gosh, with, diggity darn it, I think you should just start your own sewing company and sell playful blankets Does on anybody, Etsy. anybody want to buy this blanket right here? <laughs> Uh, it can be yours for $500. I shouldn't, I shouldn't joke, because like, they probably yeah. actually will. The PayPal account is uh, mine, actually. I handled David's pocket <laughs> money. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you called that out, because a lot of people get that wrong. And every time we talk about the playful blanket, because I do believe there was one other time when you mentioned it, um, we always hear comments for a leafy stuffed animal. And um, I have to agree. Oh my gosh, I have access. When did that happen? Okay. That is really nice. I like that door. Oh, let me see. I was looking at comments. It's this door and that door. Yeah, it's just kind of a nice framing. It is a nice framing. <clears throat> so think of a hobbit door. It's like this, this house was built with a reverence for trees. <laughs> So that is a medieval build. Ooh, I like the clock tower. I think that, I do like that too. Or watchtower. I'm not sure which one it is. But you it's know both. what? I think that this is actually in our blueprints. So we're trying to get a more diverse array of blueprints out, um, changing out the ones that are featured, um, letting you guys um, decide what new things to build and include in your world. I know Mars on his stream is always going in of that and refreshing it hoping to see new ones so happy to report that that is happening we're rotating those out and i especially like to get the ones from page like 100 that are super good but are just hidden <laughs> with yeah. all these awesome builds yeah we you know there's a there's over twenty five thousand. yeah uh, so I can get, you now. can get lost and uh we're, we're thinking of ways to like maybe surface them better yeah um not just on the workshop because we don't have control over well Steam has control over workshop, but like it within the game, right? Um, and maybe surfacing some ones you haven't seen before, because twenty five thousand blueprints is a lot. Um, I challenge anyone to build one of each. Uh, I think you'd be building until you die. Um, this is the range. Hello, uh, Geek of Cake. Welcome to the live stream. I can actually see which ones are out. So um, I actually have made the floating island. It's really cool. House Moving Castle is one of my favorite ones. Mm, yeah. It's over 5,000 blocks. It's crazy. It takes a while to load. Yes. Um, and of course, we're going to keep the cozy cottage on there, but we also have this really cool, almost blue home. Um, I know a lot of people are big fans. I mean, that's commitment to a color, you know? Yeah. How, how long does it take for it to actually load in the little <laughs> window right there? I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, I was glossing over it, but we that's will, fine. We will look into that. Uh, yeah, we'll just let that load. I'll, I'll, I'll slack the Creative team right now and be like, Randy. hey guys. Um, yeah, on? this is the ranch. This is another one of the bills in the same world it's a public world tested subject it's a tree house We've got some glowing mushrooms i see we're making use of those mushrooms for us let's see this is um this is pretty awesome i'm just gonna do a quick flyover kz wolf gaming is now back on youtube uh, wondering what happened while he was away from his keyboard. Well, Casey, you missed out. Uh, we gave out uh, Barbara's uh, bank account, or was it Playful? Or pay no, PayPal account. Our PayPal account. All the details for our viewers to uh, drain the account of its millions of dollars in savings. Um, so, sorry you missed out on that. Uh, we next love time, our fans. Yeah, what next time just stick around. Uh, you don't want to miss out, a lot of stuff happens here. Um, how much uh, I, I want to like give people a chance uh, I know people have already suggested worlds to check out um, and I, I missed those but I, I want to give people a chance to like throw some suggestions out into chat um, but how how much how much more stuff do we have to we check have out? one more world here and I'm just okay. looking at this this really <laughs> depressing line of chisers. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> labeled sandwich and soup. <laughs> They're just turning and these scissors <laughs> into, it, this is like caged chickens or something. This is very, this is a dystopian movie. I know that it's I, the ranch, I only but want free range chizzards, guys. Come what on. was the chizzards name? I want to know who his friends were. Um, yeah. I, this gives a whole new meaning to the ranch. Uh, to me, this is a, this is a horror plot, you know? Because yeah, they don't even, they're brainwashed. Yeah, it's kind of kind of got that uh, zombie feel to it. It does. I mean, I do love the mushroom thing going on in the background. Is this the thing you still had to visit? Yeah, I, I'm still I'm still just searching around because it's it's kind of horrifying. Um, <laughs> you can't get past the horrifying. To me, pet the scene. the mushrooms are are like um, nuclear reactors. I feel like they just it's it's pretty it's pretty horrific. I don't even want to go in the water here. I'm like, Turn into chizzard bait. Um, other than that, though, cool build. <laughs> yes, very cool build. Uh, Mars says you can call it brainwash. I call it an army ready for an invasion. Mm -hmm. That that could also be. But whose invasion, Mars? That's that's what I ask you. Whose invasion? Uh, let's see. Invasion of the body snatchers says Udi here. Oh my gosh, I I botched that pronunciation. Oh my gosh. All right. And we have one more. Oh wait, did we do the catacombs or Japan? Demo guy catacombs says we can. Japan? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, Japan. That's what we've been hyping, right? I mean, we hyped it, and then you know. Uh, we didn't hype catacombs. I don't remember hyping that. No. <laughs> Apparently, demo guy says we can create an additional chat room for people to suggest worlds. Uh, I don't know how to do that. That sounds really cool, though. Uh, so maybe for next time, if you want to just tell me, like briefly how to do that, or I'll Google it after this, because that does sound like a fun way to handle this. All right, Japan, we're here. Please we're in Japan. exit the plane. Oh, pretty. Ooh, I like the tree. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. It's very A lot of very serene. nice touches. I like the use of the bamboo here. Like forming a mini wall. Oh my goodness, That's the tree of life. That's a beautiful tree. That is very cool. Using glass windows there. That is glass windows, right? Yeah. Um, nice. I believe, is, is that reinforced glass or is that just glass windows? No, that I think are... it's reinforced glass. Yeah. That is um, very pretty. What are the, okay, so can you hover over the like leave things? Are those just vines from ice vines? Yes. Ice vines. Yeah. I would have actually never thought to use them like that. <laughs> I guess I'm not that creative. No, you're just <laughs> you just need inspiration, which is why we're here. Exactly. For this Barbara's is very inspiration. Nice. Looks like there's a lot of cool stuff going on, not just right here, but also in the background. Here. I know. I'm just gonna go in here first. Let's do it. Ooh, this is very calming. See, this just makes me want to take a nap more. I need to leave. Oh, a garden. <clears throat> what are the people saying? Well, um, Ethan, um, I think that's how you say that, or maybe it's Danko uh, on Twitch, um, really wants to get, he has like a, a skyline of a city. And he really wants to enter into our contest that's going on right now. The, oh, the uh, contest. What are we calling that now? Create Escapes. Create Escapes. Take your best shot too. Um, and so he really wants to get his entire skyline submitted uh, in a photo, but the uh, it's hard to get them captured all at once because it's spread across Pretty such expensive. a wide region. And he's asking about um, if there's anything we can do to increase the draw distance. Um, that's a great question. Uh, I, I do think Randy may be joining us later for a few minutes. Um, when he does, I'll ask him then. Um, if not, that's something I can, I can ask the team and, and we can follow up with you on later. But um, I, I have struggled with that myself. Um, I think Adirani Reen was the one who made this really amazing dragon bridge. Yes. And I remember trying really hard to capture it in a photo, and I had to just get just right um, to capture it all without losing it in the draw distance. Um, so I feel your pain on that one. Yeah, that is, that is a toughie. I'm sure Randy 
can pop by and help us out with that question. And there's a boat. I mean, this is just a whole world. I love it. <clears throat> oh, look what they did with the, the, the tree. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I love that. It's like, it looks it, like a naturally formed there. Um, what do they call those little trees that they, they carve? Um, bonsai trees? Uh, bonsai, it's like a bonsai tree. Yeah. With Except for this one, I can't kill. <laughs> Do you kill bonsai trees? I, I kill all plants. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it really sucks because like, like I love a, them. Like but you're a plant serial killer. I think it makes me think of cereal like with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> with a spoon. Uh, with a spoon. <laughs> I'm going to gouge his eyes out. Where is that from? I'm going to gouge his eyes out because it, it'll hurt longer. It's a comedy. I think you're thinking of Robin Hood. I'm going to gouge like I, his heart out with a spoon because yeah. it'll hurt more. And they're more. like, why a spoon? Because it's blunt or it'll Because it'll longer. hurt more, you twit. <laughs> yes. Alan Rickman. Inconceivable. The Is best part Rickman? of that. It, it was the best part of that movie. Oh. The uh, um, Kevin Costner Robin Hood. Oh. All right. Where else am I going? Because Japan was great, but it's a little too expensive. Well, let's... Um, Jojo says she's been keeping track of some of the suggestions. And I think it'd be nice Jojo, to go to so another... Wonderful. Yes. Uh, another world. So um, it'll take her a few seconds here to respond, but um, if anyone wants to call out a world that we could check out. Jojo uh, has been working on her world. I'm eager to see it. I know we can't visit yet, but Jojo, I'm waiting for that. Um, but yes, back to my uh, plant killing days. <laughs> it's so tragic. Um, I kill succulents too. They're like Barbara. the easiest to take care of. You water them once a month. <laughs> So, so to be clear, you, they die from neglect, not so much that you <laughs> enter people's houses in the middle of the night with a knife and stab plants. Well, that too, but that's just pathological. <laughs> um, no, I just, I, I kept one. His name was Henry. He was my succulent. And then I had another succulent named Hermione. But I put them outside and there was um, a cold front coming in and they just, they turned white. And then they died. Oh. So... Apparently, Blork's City World. How do you spell that? Right here. Oh, wait. Blork. 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 The, uh... Dragon Invader, or... What is his username? By Blork's? Blork's? Blork? Go down a little bit. I think that's the one. Blork, Blork, Blork. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. Okay. And there's another one after that. Um, Sweet. Let's see. Sea and Sun, yes, I would love to visit yours. I think I had it um, saved last time, but I forgot to write it down. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and let us know. Yeah, Sea and Sun, hey, glad you were able to join us. Um, you have been working on some really awesome stuff. You've been posting stuff in our Twitter mentions, like building, like recreating the Shining yeah, Hotel, was, which looks yeah. amazing. If uh, I remember correctly, Sea and Sun and uh, the Common Danger have been working on that collaboratively, which oh, cool. is really cool. Uh, welcome, everyone. It's nice. I do not, oh yes, I do have breaks. And then also the oh. Guild of Original Content. So that's, maybe we'll check out Guild of Original Content and then Sea and Sun. Um, yes, after that sounds this. great. Oh, The Shining. Ooh, I can't wait. Uh, yeah, Sian Sun, just let us know uh, which world that is on. Um, is it Two Girls Game Week? I'm not sure. Okay, did I she, miss it? Um, I, I've got the world name when, when we're ready. All right, cool. Okay, so this is Blorks. Yeah, I wonder if there's like a... Um, yeah, I think maybe A welcome I, center or something that we can teleport maybe to. Maybe I missed it. Ooh. Or it could just be like a touchstone. Good night. All right. Mm. Well, this room is very pretty. Let's see. I did see some teleporters. <laughs> Where? Oh, right here. My house. <laughs> we can go to his house. Let's go. Lork's house. <clears throat> Mama C is open world. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. And then, and then we have Guild. So we'll check those two out next. Nice, nice, nice. Oh no! Just missed it. What a nice place. This is this is very open floor planning. I like it. I 
just like to see people's storage room. I don't know that's weird, but I never know how to design mine. Oh my gosh. Do I go right or left? You have chosen wisely. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. It's so serene. Okay, loading, loading. Well, I do see something pretty cool looking there straight ahead. I know. Uh, do you want, do you, would you like to step aboard the Enterprise? The, the miniature Enterprise, I should say. Built with, our, built with our galactic black set. Thank you for letting us. Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh. I like the idea of just putting lava just randomly out in the world like that. It's mm -hmm. quite, a, quite a shocking thing to see. Yeah, I mean, I it's a great way to keep down. the uh, the na you know the neighborhood dogs up, up, away. Uh, you can just splash some lava on them if they oh get too close. Let's go inside, just just really quick. I want to see what they've got, because you might like storage, go. but I like seeing people's uh, bridges on spaceships. Da -da -da -da. Permission to come aboard the bridge? Well, permission was kind of granted. You you granted it. Thank you. Very nice. Ooh, you know it would be cool if you just took Lumite blocks and you surrounded the whole, the whole build with it. And then it was like the galaxy, but purple. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. Ah, Blork is here. Blork himself. Hi, what Blork. an honor to meet you. Uh, if, you, if, if you want to try leading us to um, like another spot you'd like this to check out, we could probably check something out. See if it'll lead, lead us somewhere. the way. to the left. Who's left uh, here? Right? Your other left. My other left? Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm lost. Hold on, guys. So he's, he's, Blork's talking about a forest he made. Um, this is, oh, I love the goo. Uh, Grand Orino on Twitch asks, what are they talking about today? There he is. Turns out we're talking about Robin Hood a lot. Barbara's got a thing for Robin Hood. No. <laughs> <laughs> you do bring it up. Like I've do heard I? you br bring it up, and you did that Instagram post about what Robin Hood movie is this from? I don't think it was what Robin Hood movie is. I don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he made this forest. This is like a cultivated, curated oh. forest. It's pretty cool. It's very Robin Hoody. It is. <laughs> It is. I, I feel like I'm Little John. And Little I'm, John, I'm yes. In the hideout. Oh my gosh. Go for a swim, why don't you? A, ah. nice, a nice healing swim. Oh. oh, wait, no, that's bog water. They're fine. Okay. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I want to get out. Well, that's very nice. Uh, yeah, see? Narad Jaya. Uh, yeah, Playful Verse is just. Uh, we take player suggestions for worlds that they have built, and we go check them out and show it off and go ooh and ah, because you guys are amazing. You make amazing stuff. Uh, and I don't really like, this is a really cool room. Oh, I love how like soaked in blue it is. It would go well with the, the all blue house, one could say. It would be neat to have um, an all blue town. Oh, Lork, where are you going, my friend? Let's see. Let's follow him one more time, see if he's uh, got anything. A oh, leafy. a leafy! A little, so like, cute. leafy um, sculpture. No, it's great. Oh, that's very nice. I, I, like I love it. It's instantly recognizable as yes, a leafy. Yes, yes. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. I, I think Pigsy's jealous. Uh oh, Pigsy right there is yeah, jealous. He doesn't know, have his own statue. Pigsy is so cute. I, I want to see one. For a pigsy as well. Do you do you want to own a pigsy? Yes. Like if you could get a pigsy, like people get dogs, would you take a pigsy into your home? Uh, 
yeah, that would be cool. It would be <laughs> like uh, my own best friend that never leaves. And, and you promise not to murder him like you murder plants? <laughs> I think I'd take better care of animals, <laughs> maybe. All right. Uh, Blork's Thanks. saying there's a blueprint of it, so you can check some of this Neat. stuff out. Um, it's a we... perfect combination of a plant and an animal. It is. <laughs> All right, let's thank you, Blork. We're going to go check out some other stuff today. Um, do you want to go? Should we go to Mama C? Yeah, I want to see the shiny. Okay. What was it again? Um, just, just Mama C. Uh, is it Mama C's? I think it's her open world. Um, yeah, one of the things we, uh, the dev team talks about um, on a regular basis is how we can make it easier for players uh, to come into worlds and to see like the highlights. Because right now you go into a world and unless you know the people on the server, it could take you a while of just popping through a bunch of different touchstones. Um, to find stuff, but I think in this case it looks like it's not a very long list of touchstones. Maybe we could go to Mama C. But yeah, that is something we would like to improve yeah. down the road. Insert your screenshot here. That's right. The, just <laughs> a shameless plug for our contest that we have going. We are adding more Loading screens and those pretty good prizes. Loading though. screens are coming from the winners of the contest. Yeah. Do you want to tell them about the prizes? Um, it's twenty dollars Steam gift cards, which are always, uh, you know, very nice. Um, and then a Gauntlet trophy of your choice, which is awesome. And there's uh, fifteen winners this time, so your chances are pretty good, I think. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Uh, Love Leafy's on Twitch is Blork, uh, and thanks us for going into his oh, world. You're welcome. Oh, that I was love very your cool. little user handle. That's thanks nice. for showing us around. Love Leafy. All right, and Guild wants us to know he's he's in the world at the moment, so we can go there after we've checked out the Shining Hotel in Mama C's world. If we ever get there. You know, I never saw the Poltergeist. You never saw the Poltergeist? No. Is that a good one? The Toby Hooper classic. It, uh, I liked it. Oh, all right. Um, it, I, there's, uh, there's two, right? There are three Poltergeists. Three, oh my gosh. Um, I never saw the, the sequels, though. Okay, which is the one with the haunted TV or something? Uh, something, I think that's something haunting. Pretty happened much to all them. of them. Oh wow, that's. But terrifying. I think it might be the second one where like the girl gets stuck in the TV. I can't remember. It's been a while. Interesting. What's on the? Oh, go back, go back. Wait. What's on the uh, wall? The other wall. Aha! <laughs> Tomb Raider. Uh, okay, I think it's over here. It's one of these. Uh, family home, the shining. Yeah, this is this is all stuff. Uh, Mama sees in the uh, C and Son one twenty five on Twitch. She's she's letting us know she built a lot of the stuff. Uh, thank you for sharing it with us, and then thank you for posting it to our Twitter. Uh, we love to see if uh, more people shared stuff on Twitter. We would love it because we just love seeing the cool stuff you guys build. And uh, sometimes we love it so much that we post it on our Instagram, and we'll credit you. Um, this is. Whoa. Looking great, can wow. I just say? That is excellent. I don't know where to start. Okay, let's see. Let's go this way. Well, let's see how well you know the shiny. <laughs> Not that well. <laughs> I feel like I know more lore and about the production of the set than the actual movie. And, and your mouse and keyboard movements would confirm that. Because you were going away from the hotel. No, no, no. I want to start with. Uh, oh, you want to start with the perimeter? Yeah, okay, yeah. my bad. So I just want to get like a pretty good. Let's see, I'm sure she knows the best angle for it. But... I, by the way, I am a huge Stanley Kubrick fan. Um, I think we were on a live stream once a while back, and and one of the designers, I think it might have been Eric Stoll. Oh yeah, he asked criticized me your what movie. What my choice. favorite movie was? No, Bruno. Uh, he asked me what my favorite movie was, and I said 2001: A Space Odyssey, and he's like. That's kind of boring. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it is boring, but it is my favorite movie, sorry. Sorry my, my taste in film does not uh, entertain you. It's always like, it's either too quirky or too mainstream, and it's like, guys, just let, let people like what they like, you know? Yeah. 
Uh, looks like this is not I'm as okay. finished on the outside here. It might be cool to go see the infamous elevator, uh, yes. the hallway in the elevator. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, lead the way. I say to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, who are you talking to? <laughs> okay, so... Okay. So it's going to be to your right, I'm guessing. To my right? Or yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, unless, and, and there are actually a lot of like fan theories, and there's even a documentary about the fact that like... I the, saw that documentary. Um, the design in that movie does, does like is impossible it doesn't actually work in real life which means congrats on this build <laughs> so yeah you might have had to put the elevator somewhere else front desk okay yeah epic uh name uh poems i agree the uh <clears throat> it, it's a very nice facade wow um, okay elevator i think it's this way is it left? Come on, David. Tell us your oh, are you, are you, uh, I mean, it looks like there's a ballroom. Um, gosh, it's been a while since I've seen it, too. Um, I know the hallway, but I don't, okay, so we were at the front desk. Front desk, it's in here? Oh, yeah, okay, 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 that, okay. that makes sense. So, ground... I mean, depending on how faithful she is in recreating this, it could be, I don't even know where. Um, let's just try it. Or, or not. Hello? Nope. I think you've gone back. Um, Interesting. I wonder if we'll happen upon room 237. Shared suite. I know she said the restroom and shower were creepy. Let's check it out. Oh, no, that's probably not the one. This is like a maze. Nope, that's the exit. Ooh, the gym. You gotta have a fitness center in your horror film. <clears throat> where else are the bad guys gonna work out? Okay. Yeah, it might be in the, uh, I might have been wrong. It might have been the building across the way uh, just because of that, that phenomenon. But let's just keep looking for a few minutes in here because I really want to find that, that so infamous set piece. Front desk is down there. Yeah, and Mama Sia, if you, oh wait, what'd she say? Uh, go to the other building. Okay. Ah, the other building. Okay. One last look because this is really cool. This is a great lobby. Uh, I would love to sit here and uh, get a typewriter and, and write a book that was just <laughs> all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy repeated 50,000 times. Oh my gosh. All right. Very, very nice. Now to find the exit. <laughs> I was wrong. I told you the wrong way to go. My bad. No, that's totally fine. Let's see if I remember how to get out of here. Um, there we go. Freedom! Now try to avoid that teleporter. There you go. Um, so I'm reading now on, on Twitch, um, we actually were in the correct building previously. <laughs> uh, she, Mama C says, go to the main entrance and make uh, right end of hall, right end of hallway, make right end of hallway? Right, right, right. Um, All right, so we're gonna go right. Right? You know, all of Blue this is Oxford, just... Um, Freedom storage? Hold on, we're going to get there. All of this just makes me think, man, we could do such a better job. Oh, here it is. Oh. The infamous set piece. Oh, the chairs are perfect. Oh, my gosh. 
much. Yes. It looks so much like it. Oh and of course, goodness. we've got uh, this. Oh, oh, it even animates. Oh. That's so cool. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I love this so it. much. This, I mean, this is my new favorite hats thing. off. This is great. And, and yeah, you've. You've built You've captured the shot matches the shot in the movie and then you built the room to match the shot. It's just perfect. It's I, I feel dread as I'm going towards it. So that's mm -hmm. whew, that's good. Well. This this is really cool. I'm I'm def we're definitely gonna share this with the team. Um, I think a lot of the team has already checked it out, but if they haven't, I think we'll so, make sure. Yeah. I definitely want to share that. What an awesome build. I love it. I Seriously love it. cool. And I this I have actually dropped in on this world. I know there's a ton more yeah. uh, to see in this world. Um, but I would like to, um, if you don't mind, give... Uh, it, are they on this server? No, they... Let me scroll. Oh, the... What was it? The guild? Something guild. I'm going to find out. Something guild. Let's see. The Guild of Original Content. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely come back. Uh, I'd love to come back to Mama C's World, but um, we'd also like to check this one out. Um, hopefully he's still there. Oh, you know it would be a cool one? Narnia, with all the snow and um, the yeah. ice vines. That would be really neat. Everyone just yeah. make movie sets. <laughs> or make your own thing. Also that. Yeah. Or make a world that's so amazing that you you can sell the rights to it and it <laughs> becomes a film. It's very true. I'm not sure how that works, but... Oh yes, uh, shout out to the Common Danger as well. He did the signs on that build. That's super. And also, that's great to just have a collaborative build with someone and be yeah. working on that project together. I mean, we saw how fun it was last... Oh, with Hogwarts? Last time yeah. with Hogwarts and building with Mr. Creativerse. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And apparently the maze is almost done, and he wants us all to race, you, me, and Randy, and oh, see yeah. who comes out first. <laughs> is it that? Is it the maze that's? It's only one block high. Well, now it, I think it's grown. So. Oh, see, mazes are not my favorite thing in Creativeverse. No. We, we did a uh, back when we first launched. Uh, blueprints we did a blueprint adventure mm -hmm. uh, not blueprint. when we first launched adventures publishable adventures we did a contest and like so many of them were like one by one hallway mazes and <laughs> they're not my favorite thing in the world which is why I liked uh, Mr. Creator versus because it was only one block mm -hmm. high so you can kind of like enjoy Escape. it but also <laughs> not like be stuck for hours right. Oh, Mars says that it's n at nine blocks, so the maze, nine high. Oh, uh, okay. It's a tall maze. Um, <clears throat> hi guys, over on YouTube, I have, sorry I have not been looking as much over there. My, for some reason, Chrome is like messing up my font, so anything Google, now like the font is horrible, it's like this bold italicized Roboto font. I have no idea how to fix it, uh, mm. so it's harder for me to read. I might just need to switch to Firefox. Um, Seems like there was a connection issue. 253 Light on YouTube asks, are Ice Vines new? And uh, they came out with the Frost Bundle. So I believe that was not this holiday season, but the previous. previous yeah. So it crashed. Oh, it crashed. Okay. Um, we'll try one more time. Try one more time. By the way, guys, I, I do want to give a shout out. Do you want to give a shout out to like the awesome work that teams been doing when it comes oh, to? Oh yeah, Perf? yeah. I, uh, sorry, I was waiting for Randy, but um, they've done. Uh, they, we've kept on doing the performance uh, fixes, and uh, right now it's a, it's a little quiet because they're working on a, a pretty big one, um, but. 
Also, a shout out to the sneak peek previewers um, for all of their feedback. That's just been a major yeah, help big time. Um, in um, really um, focusing on those issues and making sure that those are all right before they go to live. So it's it's been it's been super, and I think that we've seen a lot of um, good responses to it. But we'll continue to do that, and hopefully, um, Randy or I know uh, Doctor Will B, aka Brian, will be on when we visit with Mars. So mm -hmm. he'll be able to talk to us more about that and the future of um, where we're going. Yeah, looks like we proceed forward and down the stairs. Oh, proceed forward and down the stairs. Um, yeah, we actually have an update coming out um, later this month. Uh, we are switching to the games built with Unity. We're finally making the jump to Unity 2018, uh, which is going to do a lot for us um, and give us a lot of optimization. Um, so thank you guys. I, as Barbara said, thank you so much for helping us uh, find those issues, submitting your logs, uh, submitting bugs you notice, and for being patient with us as we work on that because the team really has been spending like the past six weeks or more just focusing mostly on making the game run better. Um, yeah. And, whether and that's frame rate or, right. um, you know, network connection issues, stuff like that. And I think part of that is that they want to be able to get everything um, ready, but not necessarily, what was that? Um, keep talking. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, hey. Well, Randy speak of the us. devil. Oh, gosh, I'm here. Devil now. Yeah, you missed uh, the shiny. We were checking that out. Oh, CN nice. Sun's build. Nice. Um, they even have the animation uh, at the elevator scene, so it's oh, pretty cool. Thank you for joining cool. us. So appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm a little bit late. It's I mean, good. you're a lot late. We were just talking about how, in the grand scheme <laughs> of somebody's <laughs> lifetime, I'm only a little bit late. That is a good also, point. Also, I kind of like this shot right here. I'm just waiting there. That's pretty That epic. is a really cool epic shot. Right? Yeah. Like if you just took a hint, screenshot hint. right there. I mean, <laughs> I can't enter, contest. so. Cough. All right, light, lead the way. Um, highlight. I wonder if light highlight. is. Highlight. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need Dr. Evil B. We got dad jokes right here. <laughs> <laughs> he is also dad jokes, though. Uh, Randy, I was just telling them about the performance fixes and how all that is going, but I'm yeah. sure you can talk more in detail about it. Um, there's performance fixes. <laughs> I think that pretty much <laughs> covers it. Covered. I mean, um, we, we no, pretty much talked about it, but yeah. go ahead and like. If you had anything else a, to add, a dev spin. Sure. Yeah, dev we're spin. we're actually working on a pretty big uh, engine update, and <laughs> that has seen some pretty decent performance improvements for a lot of the people that have been taking a look at it so far. And it's not gonna fix everything, but it will also give us uh, some more tools and some more features that we can use to continue building on and continue improving performance and stability and latency and all that fun stuff. Awesome. Yeah, that's, we're excited. That's very cool. We're, we're, this is probably, Outside of like content adding new blocks to the game, this is probably one of the most significant updates that we've done so far. Something so so it'll be a to. big, awesome update, but there won't be like a lot of obvious stuff on the surface, but when you play it, it's just gonna feel better. Yes. That's really cool, I'm excited for that. Very much so. Uh, I'm also really excited for this build. This is some serious city planning right here. <clears throat> oh, there's more. I'm afraid of heights, so <laughs> that's just something I'm going to stay on the ground floor, close to the earth. <laughs> I think um, one of the things I love about this, uh, it's one of the things I talked about back when I used to do YouTube videos uh, about tips for the game. Mm -hmm. um, this is, the city is like the, there's a bunch of different things going on, but they're all very cohesively uh, strung together. Like if you look at the ground, like even the sidewalks are really like um, thoughtfully planned out. Uh, everything just feels like it fits. And so it, it's like entering into this immersive world. I love that. I love that feeling. Yeah, this hats off. Hats off to the guild. I mean, or it is light. their original content, right? So, good job. Whee! I wonder if I fall, I swear. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. 
Uh, we did have a question earlier. Um, okay. I don't know if the viewer is still around, but they were asking, um, they're, they're trying to do a shot of their city skyline for the screenshot contest. Okay. But it's so big that the draw distance won't allow them to get everything in the mm -hmm. shot. And, um, you know, there are ways to increase the draw distance, but you can only go so far. Um, right. Is that something we've ever thought about recently? I know we've talked about it in the past, but I wonder if recently we've thought about maybe going just a little bit further in the draw distance. So to answer your question, yes. Uh, I was actually just talking to one of our guys, one of our engineers, Jeremy, the other day about that, and I th think we're toying with the idea of pushing it out a couple more notches. Um, it wouldn't be like double the draw distance yet, but I do want to start looking at that now that we have this updated engine and everything. Right. I do want us to take a look at that, see if we can get some of those longer draw distances out there so you can get those deeper shots. That's awesome. I, I'm super excited and I'm glad you showed up so that you could answer that viewer's yes. question. Yes, absolutely. Uh, whoever you were, I can't remember your name, but I hope you're still around. Um, but you heard it here for, you heard it here first, forced. What are we seeing, Barbara? What, what are you liking? Um, What's your favorite thing so far? I, I like that I, I can't get lost. <laughs> It is really well planned. It feels planned. like one continuous building. Um, it's very good design elements. Like using the bedrock stairs here with the iron that's columns, that's really cool. And you get a view of the city right here. Epic. Nice view. Yeah. Oh, there's more. Yeah, that's one of the things. Like I'm noticing yeah. all of the buildings kind of have their own distinct look, which makes it easy to not get lost because there's, there's landmarks and reference points. Yes, unlike in The Shining, which was super cool. Which, which is designed to be claustrophobic. Exactly, and, and, and you know what? I was both unsettled and I felt claustrophobic, so. Ah, mission yes. accomplished. They, they did their job. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that build, that's awesome. Touchstone. Uh, come, yeah, let's come to this touchstone. What was it again, his name? Underscore light. Underscore light. Underscore light. Might be double underscore. Yes. Oh, it was light underscore. Another epic loading screen screenshot from an Perfectly earlier contest. Perfectly timed fireworks as well. <laughs> Perfectly timed fireworks. Uh, this is uh, Looper, I think it was. The player that submitted that. Hmm. Lounger. 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 I could be oh, wrong, I, and I apologize. New if I'm wrong. city. Well, this is very modern. Very different. Whoa. This reminds me of the the Shanghai Tower that we checked out once. A very like industrial, modern build. Do you guys remember? I don't. How how long ago was it? Maybe like three three four streams ago. And hmm. uh, I, yeah, I think so. When I first revealed, I was afraid of heights, and they're like, "Let's just go up." <laughs> <laughs> did you die? Yeah, I think I did die. Okay. Pool area. Yeah, yeah it's, it looks, it's a very cozy pool. Whoa. Well, this is a hotel. So. Coming soon, more housing. See how the ruling class of the Morning Star live. Oh I'm just reading the claim uh, names. <laughs> is that what it is? Nice. I love those lights up there. Mm -hmm. yeah, doesn't that, that look great? So cool. Remind me which lights those are. Oh, no. So the ones in the center look like the new. Hotel lights? The Ritz and Pigsy? Yeah, the Ritz and Pigsy lights. That's a great um, collection. Charmicious yeah. ch chandelier. <laughs> oh, this is oh, really yeah. nice. This is posh. Wow. I mean, tall ceilings like that, that comes out of price. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Well, this is great. Light, this is awesome. See, I'm, I'm known for staying at the Holiday Inn Express, so this is probably a little <laughs> bit above what I would normally pay. You know, it has the word holiday in it. 
so. That, okay. Uh, that, that would bring me in at least. And they do have free breakfast. <laughs> Cold pancakes. <laughs> it depends when yeah. you get there. It depends when you get there. Yeah. Um, I love the art in the walls too. With the arc signs. Yes. yes. I think that was a Syrah that we saw. <laughs> Now, this is just really well done. Like, and the thing is, I have seen a lot of builds. There's something just really cool about the use of like negative space in this. Yes. Uh, like it's not overly decorated. It's it's just very. It feels very nice. Okay. This it feels this cold, room though. is my favorite so far. Yeah. It's just very very minimalist and I, it, it's pretty posh and elegant. I have to say. I but, would totally take a book. And with all the intentions of reading it and playing my iPhone for an afternoon <laughs> on that on that sofa. Just, just put it on the gram that you were there. Which, by the way, you can put it on our gram. <laughs> no, guys, really. Wait, uh, turn around real quick. Step back out. Uh, okay. See, this is what kills me every time. Yeah when I see stuff like this, and I'm just blown away. Trippy. So if you look at those, the things that look like the steel I-beams on the left and the right there, mm -hmm. that's the Javit. That was what we originally intended to go along the top of the curtains. Mm -hmm. Wow. But people do this stuff all the time, where they, they take something that Whoa. we intend to be used one way, they repurpose it, and it, if you didn't know, that. It just fits in beautifully. That is like, wow. it's funny to hear you say it because I feel like I've said that exact thing so many times on this, on this, I was about to say podcast. <laughs> <laughs> on this live podcast. If you close your eyes, it's a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, people are so creative. Like, yeah. Yeah. That, that is a look, my friend. Even just the, the stair they got going on there with the curved. Yes. Um, yes. The, the slopes is really that cool. That is amazing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think Other I replicas. think this and the shining are, are like my favorite. <gasps> Whoa. Things. Is this the suite? Have you seen Mama C's The Shining Hotel? No. Uh, we we'll have, have it on our Twitter one, so as okay. well. Yeah. Um, she has recreated that infamous uh, set piece with the elevator yeah. and it has animated the blood coming out of the elevator doors. Ah, yeah. That's so cool. It's great. <laughs> He's just chilling. Easy. He's like, come on Look in. The water's nice. That's awesome. Are you going to get in the hot tub with him? No. <laughs> I shouldn't say him. It could be a her. Them. Yeah. Them. Yes. Them is that's always the, that's the, the way safe bet. Um, this is great, guys. I love this. And look, all of this from the uh, pig, Ritzy Pigsy. I know. It's wonderful. It's, and, I mean, we just put that I out to what, medieval? a month ago? Yeah, February. Yes. yes, it was like a month ago. Yeah, and all this is already in there. Yeah, they have been busy. Busy bees. Is that like a little Dresser. closet? It's a walk in California closet. Oh, nice, yeah. Just, just storage for days. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is so great. Hey, Barbara, do you mind turning off your uh, flashlight? Let's see the natural light. Okay, so it's a little natural. bit on the darker side without yeah. the flashlight, but that's cool. Yeah, it's still nice I though. Like it. it's, so if you go in that room, you can actually see the jab. Yeah, keep going for it. You can actually see the jabbits. What right they're supposed the to wall. be. Yeah, that, that's how they normally are. Uh, I but see. then they get rotated to be used as so so board. above on the ceiling there. Yeah. Yeah. Which is funny because they're actually used in two different ways right here, mm -hmm. and you you would have no idea. Yeah. Very creative. That is awesome. Uh oh, my computer went to sleep. Um, mm -hmm. Demo guy had asked if uh, we, he can suggest worlds to visit that are not his own. That is totally cool. I think we're probably a little bit out of time for today's live stream, but um, yeah, for and, next time. Yeah. And I would say just it, it's always nice to check with them. Um, sometimes. 
I think once there was a time when somebody did suggest and um, they hadn't finished their build yet. Mm. So, uh, you know, always, that's always fun to share, but just make sure that you have, you know, they're okay because they might be wanting to surprise us with something later. So. Sure. It doesn't hurt to ask. All right. Love that screenshot for the world. I love it. Well, we are back in the real world. <laughs> With Randy. Hi. Uh, you don't have to stick around if you want to, but we'd love to have you if you want to stay. I mean, I mean we're, we're about to go, we're about to do a 24 hour marathon stream, and it's starting right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Thank you, uh, Guild of Original Content, for showing us your stuff, and um, that was really great. I mean, I really like that. There was yeah. a lot of really cool builds. Thanks for making this so much fun. Um, I'm gonna end it's with doing a that comment. thing where it's blurry again. I don't know why it does that. This always bothers you. It bugs me so bad. We need a better camera. Uh, Nemily says, um, "This right here is why I love Creative so much. So many amazing ways to use all the blocks in game. Makes my head spin. And the community is the most helpful one I've ever seen on any game. Thank you so much for Thank that. Thank you. So I, much. Well, I mean, it's really because of you guys. Um, and this community wouldn't be what it is without everyone here." Um, so thanks for tuning in and for watching, and hopefully we'll catch you next time. We'll, we'll be joined by Mars and Dr. Evil B, and maybe Randy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, stick around for a lot of dad jokes, right? <laughs> I think so. Cool. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, wait. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, uh, we're probably going to, like, if anybody's playing Creativers right now, we'll probably oh, rate yeah. them. So stick around, let me and, know, let me know. and we'll find somebody cool to send you to. Definitely. Cool. In a minute. Mars is streaming the game, so uh, say hello to Mars. Give him our regards. Reading now.